Center in great offices. And this is the Ultron. This is recognized as one of the best brands for performance electric scooter. And you know, every time I got a scooter, especially a performance scooter, I bring my expert guy, Monkey. How's okay, on, guys? You take it from here. Compensating much? Let's take a look inside. wrapped up pretty tight. You know, I like this knife, but it's just a bit bulky. Let's get this one out. I think we're gonna to need to find some tools. I got a warranty card. Okay, so we've gotten everything unwrapped and unboxed. So it comes with the seat, nice springy seat. It comes with a pump. Swedish pump, Gabby will be happy. Oh no, sorry, it's just a regular pump. Sorry, bro. Okay, it came with the user manual, as well as your basic information, instructions for putting it together, warranty and whatnot. Multi-tool, very important. Some extra screws that we'll figure out where they go later. Look at the size of this speedometer, this display screen, it's huge huge display screen okay now a lot of these premium scooters they'll have two plugs for you to charge with and most of them come with one charger now Ultron was considerate enough to send us two so half the charging time thank you very much Ultron and then we have this really cool looking bag that I believe goes on the next step so you can carry your cell phone or some other things in there if you're riding around Pretty cool bag. All right, let's get this thing assembled. Okay, we're gonna bring this next time up, try to get the handlebars on. Okay. Set that on there for now. Get this clamp tightened up. Should hold it. All right, so we got the stem up, we got it clamped down. Now the neck has this little bar riser on it that we're gonna put on there. And then we're gonna put the neck right over the top. Now when you're lining this up, you wanna try to get your handlebars to be parallel with your wheel nuts so that it's straight. I just use that as a reference. If you try to use the body, then you might end up with them a little crooked. So I use the wheel nuts and just kind of look down the neck and get that lined up and then I'll try to get this tightened down. But first, let's put the display screen on. Okay, so we're gonna get the screw out. Get the washer out of there. Okay, so we're gonna mount our gigantic display screen on here. Get the washer lined up. Okay, so. Pretty sure that's gonna be decent. Okay, so now we're gonna tighten these up right here on the neck to keep our bars from turning. Okay, so I'm gonna get this lined up now and get it straight. There are wheel nuts, just kind of eyeball it. And I'm gonna start tightening this up. So let's try to get them 
going evenly. Make sure it's straight while we're doing this. That should be about right. Feels pretty sturdy. Now let's get this tightened down. Now it's the same shape as the headstock right here. So we're just gonna snug this down and get this lined up. Give this a little snug. I think that's pretty straight. Man, look at the size of this display. I think we can get these keys out now. Let's get the display plugged in. You'll see that there's little arrows here on the wiring to help you line it up. It's kind of a snug fit. Let's kind of push it in there. That should be good. Yeah. Peel this little plastic off of here. Sometimes you get a little bit of sticky left on there. You can just kind of use it to peel it off. There we go. Okay, look at the size of this display, man. Right. Wow. That is pretty cool. All right, so how the seat goes on. It's got a quick release clamp here. This just folds up. You push in on the other side and then that locks in and then you can bring this up and clamp this down. Just like that, it's pretty sturdy. Everything's got quick release. Now we'll bring the seat. The seat goes on pretty easily. Get this tightened up a bit. There we go. Oh, seat has suspension on it. Look at that. Okay, so we have the seat mounted. As you saw, it's got the suspension on there. It's got these four screws holding it on there. Now, since we are testing the performance, we're gonna take the seat off and I'll show you how to do that right now. Got a couple of screws here. I'm assuming that's what these other four screws are for here. So we'll place them in that so they're nice and flat with the deck here. And that's it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put these flat head ones in there. Keep the deck firmly in place. Get these lined up. Okay, so now that I've replaced the four screws that were holding the seat in place with the flathead ones, we might as well give the scooter just a once over and just check all the little bolts and pieces to make sure that everything's tightened down before we take it for a ride. At the speeds we ride these things, you don't want anything coming loose. Safety first, kids. All right, so we got the scooter all put together. We're gonna take it for a ride. We're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna test out first gear with just a single wheel drive. And uh, then eventually we'll try it on dual wheel drive. And then we'll do the same thing with second gear, single wheel and dual wheel, third gear, single wheel and dual wheel. I'm gonna take it for a ride and go around a little bit. And then Gabby's gonna take a ride and we'll both give you our opinions on it.
Okay, so both Monkey and me tried this uh, scooter on single try, first gear, right? Uh, you were complaining for a second, like, ah, it's not too fast, right? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't wasn't very powerful in first gear. The, the takeoff is very smooth, and if it's in first gear, single wheel drive without the dual on, it takes off a little bit slow, but that I think would be okay for a beginner rider. Yeah, perfect for beginner. So if you never ride on a scooter before, but you want to get into it, this is perfect for you because one thing that is very noticeable, right? Like compared to other scooters we tested before, how smooth it is, right? Yeah, the takeoff is very smooth on this one. It doesn't matter whether you have the dual yeah, or the yeah. single on, first gear, second gear, or third gear, it doesn't jerk or take away, you know, take off very hard. Another thing is, like, even some monkeys say on single drive first gear was slow. I was kind of like struggling to catch up with my electric skateboard that does 35 kilometers per hour. So even on first gear, uh, it goes relatively fast. I mean, not fast for what this scooter is meant to be, but it was kind of holding up pretty well. And because it's so stable, you don't even feel the speed, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't feel the speed very much. The only disadvantage uh, for the way I like to ride uh, with it taking off so smoothly is that it's quite difficult to get a wheelie going. So you have to kind of pump it a little bit, but you know, that's that's not what it's intended to do, but it's still yeah, very, yeah. very powerful. It, it'll still pull up and pick up. It just takes a little bit of effort and some practice to get it going, but um, that's obviously not, not what it's intended for. By the way, even if you are into wheelies, it's not something you do every day, all yeah, day, yeah, right? It's something you do, you do for fun every now and then. So, yeah, I wonder if you can configure it that somehow. Uh, I contact uh, Ultron and us, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's I'm very sure smooth. Can change the ECU to yeah, yeah, probably, make the probably. take off a little but more. I, I prefer it to be smooth. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's, that, definitely. I agree, I agree. For safety reasons, it's, it's definitely better to do it that way. Otherwise, if someone's like, oh, let me ride it, and then the thing takes off real quick. I've had it happen with other scooters. Someone's like, hey, can I ride it? And you're like, yeah, okay, here. And then they take off and the scooter just yeah, goes yeah, flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's much better that way. And, and it rides very smooth. Uh, the suspension, I adjusted the suspension a little bit and it's not as rigid as it was when uh, we first took it out the box. So that also made a big difference in the comfort of riding. It's not so jerky in the front, so. Okay, dual drive. Dual drive. Third gear. Third gear. It, and that is it takes all him. very smooth. It takes <laughs> off very smooth, but it gets going very quickly. Like the acceleration is very aggressive. The the takeoff is smooth, but once you get going, then the acceleration really picks up very fast. I wasn't really looking at the speedometer while we were playing around here because I was watching for cars and people. But we're gonna go try to do a speed test on a little more secluded area, and uh, let's see what it does. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys, so before we get into talking about the off-road, let me give you a little rundown of the scooter, some design things that I've noticed, and the differences between this scooter and some other ones that we have tested out. Now, the first thing that is very, very noticeable is the deck plate. The deck plate is quite wide, very comfortable to stand on, a lot of foot room. You feel very stable on it. This thing does ride very stable. The big 11-inch wheels and hubs definitely make a big difference. It gives it a lot of height and clearance. Now, when we turn the display on, and when you first turn it on, it'll show you the odometer, the distance that you've gone on it, and then here, yeah, we've done 16 miles on it, and uh, it'll show you the trip meter after that. Now, there's no way to change it between the trip and the odometer, and there's no way to change it between kilometers per hour or miles per hour. I'm not sure if it does or doesn't. 
And then also it has a display here for when you turn the dual on. It'll give you the D for the dual drive, but it does not have one to let you know when you're in eco mode. Now, one thing that is very different about this one is the thumb drive for the throttle. I'm not gonna hit it, let me turn it off. So this is quite different than the other ones that we've tested that have the trigger. So this is something that uh, I had to get used to for this one. I will adjust it a little bit to make it a little more comfortable. And then you've got your voltmeter here that tells you what your battery is at. So we finally did charge it up fully. And then it's got the horn, which is quite loud, quite loud for a scooter. And if we turn the lights on, it's got dual lights in the front. Most of the other scooters that we've tested out only had a single light in the front. It's got this bar mounted. It's got the horn mounted on there as well. The wiring is all covered up and wrapped up. I'm assuming for water protection. And then the rear light back here, very cool looking rear light. It lights up when you hit the brakes and then it has the turn signals, which are animated, which I think is pretty neat. However, it does not have the turn signals in the front. It does not have the turn signals in the front. And then it has the deck lights here underneath, which look pretty cool like the Knight Rider. The brakes, it has a uh, dual disc brakes and the brakes are quite comfortable. They grab very well. As you can see in the video, I was doing some stoppies and a few slides. The brakes grip very well. The bars are a bit wider than the other scooters that we have tested, but the grips are very comfortable. They've got the palm rests here. So that is uh, quite comfortable for going off road. Um, now speaking about going off road, it was quite a bit stiff. So I'll definitely have to adjust the suspension a little bit more for going off road, but the bars are very stable. The neck feels very strong and stable. It doesn't wobble around a lot. Um, when I was doing the wheelies, it didn't feel very shaky when I'm pulling on the bars. So it's definitely a very sturdy neck on this thing. This kick pad in the back definitely helps with the balance when you're riding, going off road. And then uh, on the neck here, yeah, they, they gave us this little carry pouch, which I put on there and we haven't really used yet. So underneath this carry pouch here, you can see there's actually a hook to put like your bag or some groceries or something if you want to carry things. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so it's got this hook here, which I think is pretty neat. So you can carry some bags if you go run to the store or whatnot. And then this pedometer is mounted to this bracket here, which kind of sticks out a bit, but I mean, it's a very big display screen. It's very easy to see when you're riding. And if you come look here during the daytime, if you have the lights off, it's quite bright. And at night it dims down a little bit because obviously in the dark, you don't want it to be bright blinding you in the eyes. All right, so we found a little hill here in the park where we're cruising around. It's about 40, 45 degrees. I'm gonna see uh, how well it can climb with a dual wheel drive on. See if I can make it up the hill. Made it up, no problem. All right, we're done with this review. We just finished the speed test. Uh, it looks like it was pretty stable because you didn't look scared at all, right? Yeah, no, it was, it was very stable. Um, I, 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 I looked down at the speedometer when I could, and I saw that it was reaching 50 miles an hour. 
pretty damn fast, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's that's pretty fast. Uh, I feel like it has a little bit more in it. I was running out of road, and I kept catching a red light. I was hoping to catch a green light so I can go straight through. But it's that time of day. There's quite a bit of traffic. I think it has a little bit more in it, but I did see that it did hit 50, maybe 51. I'm not sure. That's the reason why I bring this guy. I wouldn't dare to do 50 miles an hour on any yeah, road. Yeah, it would have been great if uh, someone could have trailed me, but... You know, he, he can't ride that fast on a skateboard, and he definitely can't run that fast. So we have some difficulties trying to film this, but, you know. Yeah, we uh, strapped the GoPro to the handlebars. Yeah, yeah, we put a GoPro to get the it, But it kept, like, vibrating down. Yeah, so I'm not sure so we'll, we we'll got see it. how we got the shot, but uh, maybe next time I'll try to But you're confident you got 50, and I'm maybe you can, 50 push miles you can squeeze a little bit more. I think, I think if I have a little bit more road, I could, I could probably get more. Awesome, awesome. Well, okay, if you summarize it, what do you think about the, the scooter? I think it's, it's very stable. It, it rides very well. Um, I think with some street tires on it, it would definitely handle a little bit better on the surface roads. But for off-road, in the grass or in the dirt, this thing is going to perform amazingly. Yeah, I, I seen it's, to ride yeah. it some more. I seen it's like a great hybrid in a way, right? Uh, because even so, it does pretty okay off-road, a little bit stiff. I also ride it off-road. It was a little bit stiff. But it felt even better on the road, surprisingly. But also, right? where, where we rode it is very rocky and Very bouncy. rocky, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I guess it depends on what kind of trails you ride it on. I think if you go ride it in a wooded area with, like, some dirt or hard compact, you're definitely going to have a good time. I feel like if you can lower a little the suspension and have, like you say, street uh, wheels, right? Yeah. That would have been an even better scooter because it's handled very well on the road. Yes, it does handle very, very smooth, well. Very smooth, high speed. It's very it's, stable, It's not yeah. shaky. And like I said, the, the neck... The stem is uh, very stable. Uh, some of the other scooters, they, they have a thinner neck, and it's a and bit it shakes, wobbly wobble. at speed. Yeah. Um, this isn't but it could also all. be that, you know, I also don't treat them very lightly. Yeah. You know, I, I tend to jump off things, and I'm constantly pulling wheelies and doing stoppies and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely very hard on these things. I definitely put them through the paces uh, when we're testing these things out. All right. Well, that does it. Uh, you know how I am my videos now, right? It's adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Attack!